And welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch, and I have decided while playing Dark Souls here on the Xbox One, we have farmed up a little bit, and I have decided that I can power up my uh, Drake Sword much more powerful than the server, and the server swings pretty dang slow. So, I want to show you guys real quick how to, if you're at this stage of the game and you're struggling and you need some souls for one reason or another, um, I want to show you guys an easy farming method. Um, it's kind of a little cheap, but, you know, the game can be a little cheap to you sometimes, so using every tool at your disposal is very good. These guys give you 2,000 souls apiece, and that's huge. You can't be part of the Cat Covenant while you do this, because these guys either won't attack you, or if you attack them, you'll break the Covenant. Um, since I joined the Cat Covenant, I actually went and joined the Dragon Covenant, which I'll probably forget about here soon. But right now... All right, we've got two guys closing in. There's a stealthy guy somewhere over there, and there's this guy right here. So the easiest thing I've found, like, I, I'm very capable of killing both of these guys. Neither of them are astronomically difficult. Now this guy's pathing is being a little weird. So we want to get over here near the edge of the cliff. Come on, buddy. All right, and then and now there's both of them. And we want to just push. All right, the one guy actually went off the cliff on his own. This guy's go about to do it. He can heal himself all he likes. Just stand up, buddy. Bye. Heal that. Okay, so <laughs> pretty much without uh, incident, I have farmed up uh, 43,000 souls, which we could use like to level two times get pretty close to a third. I can always farm up more if I feel like I need to do that. But the main reason I've done this is I've got seven dragon scales and I think that's enough to level up my um, my drake sword four times because I have seven dragon scales. This guy's going to pop up. Chop, chop. So before we go after... Um, What's his name? Great Grey Wolf Sif. I want to power up this Drake Sword. The one thing I'm noticing is if we don't find a better weapon, I'm going to have wished that I invested in like miracles for healing myself or something because strength doesn't affect the Drake Sword. All you have to do is hit bare minimum stats to be able to wield it. And it does pretty good. Pretty good. So... That being said, I guess you could always just go with a ton of uh, stam and health. But here we come. We're going to go up to this guy here. Well, I'm using needed. Yes, let's reinforce old Drake sword here. So right now it's doing 200 damage. And indeed we get it up to 280 damage. <laughs> we would need three more shards to get it one more level to 300, but 280 is pretty significant, and I'm curious to see, just on the little tree men out here, how much of a difference that makes. It's certainly going to make a, a difference on bosses where you're trying to whittle away this giant health bar. Hopefully it was a smart decision to use all of our, our uh, drake, dragon scales. Oh, these guys are all... <laughs> yeah, we didn't rest at the, the place yet, so... Of course these guys aren't back. So I do want to just do a little bit of testing on the first guys that we come to here. Namely that one guy who we have to whittle away. The other guys can run off a cliff. And that's fine. Yep. Yeah. All of a sudden we are hitting this guy for like the big numbers. Upgrading this Drake Sword is a big deal. I'm just... Yeah, 
Yeah, see? A hundred and something per... Hundred over a hundred per hit now. So now every hit is a lot more weighty. Like if there's any guys that we've we've stumbled on because of their damage mitigation, they're not gonna mitigate nearly as much against us. This is a perfect place to fight this guy right out in the open where no trees are gonna get in the way. Man, that guy just went down all at once. Unbelievable. Well, that guy still gives us a little trouble. So we'll level up one more time. Um, probably take a little more stamina because that also gives us more... Uh, encumbrance in case we decide to take another shield just say like there is that one shield that uh, the shield will make us recover stamina faster So, we're now at the point where we're going to go after Great Grey Wolf Sif. We've leveled up once. I'm not going to stop and, and, and do battle with these guys. I'm going to sprint past them and join the Covenant really quick. Because I believe they all stop coming as soon as you get in this room with the cat. Is that right? What dost thou say? As soon as you talk to the cat. So, I'm not, like, a huge fan of this covenant, but, every, you know, as soon as you join another covenant, you'll um, be unfriendly with this one, but 
you know, the biggest thing about, the biggest reason to do that is for, um, it's for the sake of being able to run through there time and time again against Great Grey Wolf Sif if you die and not having to fight anything on the way. So with our Drake Sword Plus 4 here upgraded four times, we're going to go and take a stab at, literally, at Great Grey Wolf Sif. That's a terrible start, though. We're going to just keep trying to stay inside of Sif's got to stay inside like inside his sword right swords range we're not doing great here though you can block a lot of attacks here Switching to two-hand really does a lot of good, too. But you gotta switch back, because you can block all the attacks except for that big spinning one. Right here. Nope, it's not it. Alright. So we're making some great progress. Having the stronger sword definitely goes a long way. That's the one you can't get hit by, and you move in right after he does it. Alright, now we go to two hand, whack away. And back to two hands here, we back him into a wall. really wailing away on him. Having that, all that stamina really helps, and having him pinned in a corner here really helps as well. We're about to get him here. Oh, we're stuck. Oh boy. And he's going down. Sorry, Wolfie. We got the Soul of Sif and the Ring, the Covenant of Artorias. All right, that is a big deal. I did not expect that to go so easily. Having extra health helped. Um, having the more powerful weapon really helped. Um, let's see. Let us see here. Um, I wanted to take a look at the ring. I think it's the wolf ring. Boost poise, that's okay. What is Traverse Abyss? The ring symbolizes, symbolizes Knight Artorius's covenant with the beasts of the abyss. It's where, like Artorius himself, can traverse the abyss. I don't know what that is, but our other ring wasn't helping us incredibly much so. And now we can take a little bit of a look around here, and I'm not sure what this abyss it's talking about. There is an item over here that we had missed. So let us see here. The Hornet Ring. That, I think, I feel like I remember that being useful. Boosts critical attacks. Let's see. So it talks about somebody had used that with a um, 
with like a dagger build, basically. I mean, they don't say build, obviously, but that's the general idea. We only used three flasks on uh, Sif that time. Which I'm quite happy about. Oh, and look, we have 40,000 souls. That is a big boost right there. Now, I don't know where the abyss is, like I was saying before, but I'm sure we will figure this all out in time. I think the the most important thing to do right now is to go and to level up. Alright, so having defeat Great Grey Wolf Sif, we're really on our first try. I'm very happy about that. We're going to come back here, we're going to level up a couple of times. And let's see here. We'll take another point of vitality, another point of strength. And we don't have quite enough for another level, so what we're going to do is... Um, I had mentioned wanting to go to the blacksmith and be buying the items that allow you to... Um, did we one-shot that guy? Oh my gosh, our weapon is powerful. Holy crap. But yeah, I want to go to the blacksmith and... buy the items that let us modify our weapons when we're at a campfire. So that way we don't have to make these big reaching trips. All right, we're gonna purchase an item here. Tool for reinforcing weapons at a bonfire. It's only 2,000. I remember when that seemed like a lot. Now it's like nothing. Okay, I don't see that there's anything here that we need. So you can actually buy Titanite Shards here to reinforce weapons. So yeah, I mean, that's something, only 800 apiece. That's something worth looking into. Go get yourself killed. We'll go up here to the bonfire, and we're going to end our episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and useful or had a good nap or something. Uh, really appreciate it if you guys give us a thumbs up. Would love to hear any comments or questions that you guys have. Uh, we'll get right back to you. And lastly, please make sure to um, subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of projects going all the time. And, um, you know, we'll, you won't miss an episode if you subscribe. So, until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com. And I am out of here.